spreading word. This doctor. Robots this fight. <laughs> Soggy Mustang is now called Doctors with Borders. <laughs> I, Don't you dare! Don't you dare hit that robot! I have a feeling that, that Honey Star is going to take those borders right out of the picture. Uh, oh, whoa! whoa! Through the front door! It's in. Is it inside? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think, I think Soggy Mustang and or Doctors with Borders has eaten its opponent. Oh, it, well, maybe it's just visitation hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's children. There's oh. so many children in the arena. There's a chance <laughs> that Doctors with Borders could swallow both lots of Honey Star. Doctors with Borders is leaking children. Um, these these oh, tiny, wait. these little people. There's <laughs> children strewn about. Yeah. Can't you on, Ricky? They were, they had such hope and such vigor for life. And now. <laughs> who's going to tell them, Chris? Who's going to tell their parents? This team is right in my Q zone. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Is this a children's hospital for ants? <laughs> Honey Star, uh, I think, has completely succumbed to to children. It can't go on. It can't live with itself, knowing what it's done. It's. It's something that's going to haunt their dreams for the rest of their life. Their cold, mechanical, unnatural life. Uh, Doctors with Borders slash Soggy Mustang is moving surprisingly well at this point. If, 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 you, if you like robots fighting children's hospitals, please make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> It's a well-built hospital. No, well, maybe. I don't know. It's <laughs> you say that, then. Look, it's, it's very welcoming. Like it, it's still a patient in there. You might say that this hospital just comes along and welcomes you with open arms. <laughs> they really bend over backwards for you. <laughs> at the Children's Hospital for unlucky kids. The team looks confused. I'm not sure what they were. I don't know. I can't read lips, um, Chris, but there is some banter. I got to look. That kid is in a wheelchair. I'm sorry. You that, that kid is holding its its chemo treatment in its hand. The humanity. <laughs> Face down. I've never seen anything like this. She doesn't know. Like she's just smiling. Hey, we're gonna get better, Ricky. <laughs> hey, we're gonna get better. <laughs> we're all gonna get better. And such hope, such vigor, such life. Oh, it's a lot of mourning to be done here. And I understand, you know, mourn, it takes time to mourn. It takes... Oh, recovering. Yeah, those... Mm. <laughs> you see the sign? It held in. Yeah. I mean, there's no, going to be no doubt for whoever comes along what that building was for. <laughs> Let's the see, kids uh, might leave, but evidence of what Honey Star inflicted. Here's a replay of this war crime. <laughs> this moment that we see the children tumbling out of the children's hospital. <laughs> there are no words. What do you? What do you? What do you? Say? What do you? What do you say? <laughs>
I think a honey star starts to remove methods of exit from the building. You know, points of entry and egress. Windows and doors fall off, making it harder for the children to escape until such time. The, the walls are literally blown off the building and the children are strewn about the battlefield. Uh, where do we go from here, Chris? What brought us to this point in our careers, in their careers? Okay. <laughs>